Hey everybody, welcome to our Rusty Chains retrospective podcast with Ian Russell. Hi. Hello, friends. Hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, some last minute scheduling stuff came up with Damien, so he's going to be maybe joining us later in the stream. But he says hi for everyone. Um, just some quick housekeeping real quick. Thanks so much to everyone who's watching live. We're thrilled you're here. Um, we know this is a crazy hour for a lot of you guys, so this archive is going to be going up on our YouTube channel tomorrow. And we'll be sure to tweet a link out to that as well. So if you want to watch it again or show your friends who missed it, that's where you can find it. Um, we're going to close out the stream with a bit of Q&A. And we'll do some giveaways too, which Ian was kind enough to provide us with. Thank you, sir. Yeah, Starbreeze provided me. I didn't <laughs> read the code. You know. All right, so let's uh, let's start the beginning, I guess. When were you first made aware of Payday? I guess would be a good start. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, after I had been cast, <laughs> <laughs> which is kind of a bit weird, isn't it? Um, so uh, I had I would not have known Payday existed before. Uh, I was cast and then um, most uh, the vast majority of video games when you do an audition you don't know the name of the game you don't know the name of the character you probably don't know very much about the character uh, all, all I knew I think was uh, uh, they wanted a South African accent and I thought oh, I can do that <laughs> <laughs> I'll give that a go uh, so uh, so that's what I did um, I put in my audition and the fools cast me <laughs> um, and, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, I think I'd even maybe even recorded the um, I'm not sure which one I did first Beneath the Mountain or uh, the Sky one I can't, I can't even remember the name of the heist yeah. everybody would be lambasting me you can't even remember the name of the heist you feed in. you're rubbish well yes probably um, uh, what is it Beneath the Mountain and um, Birth, Birth, of Sky. Birth of Sky Birth of Sky Birth yep. of Sky there you go which is a slightly odd name but there you go uh, uh, so so I, I think I, I remember recording one of them and sending that <laughs> over for review and uh, sometime after that uh, then I maybe started becoming aware that it was payday uh, and I went alright what's that then um, <laughs> Uh, and I don't think I even still knew. And and it was probably a, maybe even uh, a year later when I did the uh, the Kraken team charity pay play payday forever stream and mm. raise money for charity, which was um, uh, they invited me to, uh, to be interviewed as one of the voice actors in payday. I had, you know I was like, what's that all about? Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I'll turn up, whatever. And I think that's the point where where I became much more aware of what payday is, you know, mm. and the, the at lock, uh, payday Twitter, um, account was opened right around then because the, the Kraken guys said, Oh my God, the, it's all gone crazy. Uh, you might want to have an, a dedicated Twitter account instead of giving everybody your personal details. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's when that all started. And I think it's kind of gone from there really. Mm. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, uh, luck it, was... It, it was very clear during that first interview with the Kraken team that I had not a clue <laughs> about the game you at know, all. <laughs> nothing. You know, they would use all these terms, and I'd go, like, and and the the guys uh, would would explain to me what that meant. <laughs> it was it was slightly surreal. Lock almost immediately showed up as a a community favorite, I think, which was really interesting. Oh, yeah. For... Well, I had no idea because it wasn't until after the charity thing that Starbreeze came back and asked me to do some more work with them. You know, because it was, as far as I was concerned, it was a once and done. You know, beneath it, which you know, Point Break heists. Thanks very much. I'll take the money. Uh, what else can I do? Okay, I'll go and record a telephone on hold for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you know, it's kind of it's crazy now. It's a bit silly now. Oh yeah. Oh. Damien <laughs> says appreciate. Hi, Damien. <laughs> By text. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually had a question. Uh, yeah. About luck. Um, what did they give you in terms of like character details? Like, I know you said that they didn't give you much, but like, what did you get for like 
in terms of his like personality and his background when you first recorded uh, he's his a mercenary life. he's a computer genius um and he's south african solid <laughs> that's it the rest so is you me. created the rest of the the rest is me I, I decided very early on when they were I, I tell you what what set it off there's a bit in in one of the two and somebody will know which one where lock the, the, in the script, it just says Locke hums a tune. This is in the <laughs> elevator. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I hummed uh, the 1812 overture. Because <laughs> uh, uh, <you> know, <laughs> I figured, you know, that involved, you know, things blowing up. So I thought that would be appropriate. Oh, yeah. Um, and and, and it, it made me chuckle thinking about it. So I thought, well, what I'm going to do is try and put in where I can some humor uh, and there's another bit in one of them where he's talking about attaching the rope to the pallet for the money pallets yeah uh and and you know w when you're recording the lines they give you like six lines that say the same thing mm -hmm. so that when you go back and play at a different time you get a different line um i don't think i quite realized that at the time even um so I decided that by the time he's had to tell you four or five times, instead of getting angry, he would just become sarcastic. <laughs> so he says something like, oh, for, come on, go and, you know, what are you doing? Go hit the fucking ropes. And I don't think the fucking was in there. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, come on, guys. Oh, Jesus Christ already. You know, can't you do something? For goodness sake, you're just a bunch of wink. No, all that kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, I've, I, and since then, I've tried to where I can put in a little bit of humor um, into the character. And I think that helps flesh him out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, and, it's funny. Uh, oh, sorry, no, you can go. Well, I was going to say, and the writers are really helpful now as well because they try and put funny things in for me, which is brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well, like, it's funny because, like, Locke is such a strange character because he can be, like, really funny. And then in something like Reservoir Dogs, you have, like, him being super serious and it's uh -huh. really funny. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess we should have said earlier. Spoilers for Payday Two oh, in this podcast, yeah, yeah. by the way. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, Locke's not played by a South African bloke. Spoiler. Oh no, <laughs> we've ruined everyone's immersion. Payday's, Payday's over. Payday's go Payday's home. Oh no. <laughs> yes, that's it. Yeah, give up. And go home. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait a minute, I am home. <laughs> hey. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, the vast majority of voice acting these days is done from the comfort of your own home. I have a little studio in my house with a little, uh, so I, uh, the room you would call a studio, um, a control room, and then in a corner I have a, a little partitioned off area, which is the voice booth, where you go in and you do your, when you want to record something seriously and it's got to sound quiet, that's where I go, my little padded cell. <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know if somebody was going to ask that. Where do you do your recordings from? Um, the spare bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> nice. No, no, it's not a spare bedroom. It's my studio. Ah. <laughs> Get, like, a neat little uh, sign on the front of it. it. It doesn't. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, dessert has arrived. Oh. Anybody want apple crumble cheesecake? Fantastic. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, all come round to my place. All 10,000 <laughs> of you. How many people are watching? <laughs> oh, yeah. um, so, um, I, I don't know what... Yeah, uh, yeah. there are times when when Locke has to be a bit serious and a bit angry, you know, because he needs you to... He needs you to, to achieve what you need to achieve. You know, there is a goal at the end of the day. Um, but, you know, where he can get sarcastic and, and put some funny lines in, you know, I think it makes it hopefully makes it a bit more enjoyable for everybody oh yeah it was <clears throat> sorry it was really interesting the first time we heard those kind of comedic moments because for the most part in because the point break heist came out at the end of uh 2015 2015 yeah mm -hmm. and payday started in late 2011 the first game mm -hmm. and having locked that was the first time we've had anyone except bane for an extended period of time and so having that comedic element to it was a really fun kind well, of shake-up for the know, community when when Locke was introduced as the guest contractor for the point break heights mm. I, I i wouldn't I, I wouldn't say that right then at that time that starbreeze knew where the story was going to go 
Yeah. You know, it... Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I th- so it's really only in the last year, uh, year and a half, that Locke has become a regular fixture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, wasn't it before uh, Christmas of last it year? Started... Uh, well, it was whenever the... We, uh, after, so we did the Point Break heists, uh, then we did the Heat Street. Right, that was redo. April of last year. Yeah. Okay. And um, then, and, and and then it was because... Alaskan deal for the betrayal, which was October. Yeah. Right, so, so that's when that all kicked off. And uh, it, I mean, I can tell you the story behind that if you want. Um, by all means so yeah. so well I, yeah I, I, it, it was quite they the starbreeze were loving it i can tell you but um they they sent me uh an email saying okay we're going to do another heist with lock it's going to be part of the event we're going to call it lock and load and i'm like oh great, great. i'm really excited because i'm thinking lock's going to be central to the story and then they sent me the script which is sort of lock saying hey guys here's a train Fuck off! I'm off now. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like three lines, isn't it? Lock, Lock has like three lines or something in that. Yeah. yeah. And then the event goes on from there. It's called Lock and Load, and Lock's not in it. And I'm like, <laughs> um, but then they said you might. So they sent me a follow-up message which said you might notice in the script that Lock betrays the gang. I'm like, no, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But they said, but don't worry, it won't be the end of Lock. And I'm like, ooh, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, so then I don't know, a couple of weeks go by, and I get another message which says, okay, we need to connect with you on Skype. We do need to have this big, long discussion with you. Um, when can we do that? So we arrange all of that, and then we connect on Skype, and uh, they're like, okay, have you got your NDA, your non-disclosure agreement? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, right, okay. So uh, they're all looking at each other going, oh, can we tell him? because i've not signed the big secret thing Mm -hmm. uh uh, so uh i said to them well listen if you've got it there email it to me i'll print it off sign it scan it send it back to you all right okay so we did that and so while the pages are arriving with my signatures on them they're allowed now to start telling me the whole business of so uh there's going to be something where you know bane gets goes missing you know and uh lock is going to kind of run the gang for the next year or so. And, of course, that's what's happened. And here we are, end of 2018. Oh, yeah. So it's been pretty busy the last year with Locke, I can tell you that. I didn't know they had it planned that far in advance. That's yeah, actually really I didn't, cool. I didn't think they had that planned. <laughs> There's a lot more planning goes into these things than meets the eye, I can, you know, really. Um, uh, I... I I'm sure that there were elements of the story that weren't fixed in place, but that big story arc bit, Bane's <clears throat> going to go missing, and lock. So, the, in fact, if you think about it, Alaskan Deal is the setup for that. Yeah, because yeah. you know, uh, it, as it transpires, Locke has done that on at Bane's request. You know, to get the gang out of Washington. Mm-hmm. So remember- they knew. Uh, go ahead. Excuse me. No, it's an apple crumble. Excuse me. Ah. <laughs> um, it's not good for voiceovers. It really gunks up your <laughs> your mouth. <clears throat> yeah, uh, guys, uh, just hang on a minute. I've got to eat my piece of cheesecake before we do the next bit. <laughs> go restart the thermal drill while I do that, will you? <laughs> Yay! I'm mean, just imagining you recording lock lines just sitting in your studio and just like eating random food and just implementing <laughs> it into lines. <laughs> that would be quite stressful. Knowing, <laughs> to, knowing that you have to ad lib through an hour's worth of voiceover is, is probably quite stressful. Throwing in the odd line here and there is just a bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's lock. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> so over the last week, yeah. I spent about. I think four hours playing every lock heist twice to get enough cool. background footage for this video. Oh, well, thank you for doing that. <laughs> ah, it was a fun time. So, so which one are we doing at the moment? Is this, uh, this beneath, is beneath yep. the mountain. Yep. Yep. Or whatever it's called. <laughs> yes, because Locke's there, but you can't actually interact with him. He just kind of stands in a corner, doesn't he? Yeah. He gives us a nice box of things. 
<laughs> Attach the rope to the fucking pallet. <laughs> <laughs> Please destroy the radars. Stop there. Fuck. Oh, no. Wait. Hold. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah, it's been great fun. Um, and, of course, everybody now wants to know what happens next. Great. Right. Yeah. And, um, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Simple as that. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's my big black fucking chopper. There it is. <laughs> but yeah. uh, oh no, John, you can. Uh, yeah, I guess payday three is what's next. Mm. Yeah, and that's all yeah. that I. That as far as I know, it has a title. You know, payday three, the return <laughs> of payday, and that's it. I don't know anything else. I don't know more than that either. Even if I, yeah. you know, I, I suppose. The, the the conspiracy theorists would think that I've signed an NDA and I do know, but I just can't tell you. <laughs> you know, which is a great defense. Um, but when you just don't know, it doesn't make a difference whether you've signed <laughs> an NDA or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> There's the theories in chat popping <laughs> up about it. So so you can decide, am I, am I saying I don't know because I've been sworn to secrecy or am I saying I don't know because I don't know. <laughs> you could, you decide. <laughs> um, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I, and people say, "Oh, would you do it if you? Would you do it? Would you do it?" I mean, goodness gracious, chaps! <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't I want to be Locke if I could? <laughs> Think about it for a moment. Um, yeah, you seem like you have like a lot of fun because. It seems like you got, like, really into character for, like, a lot of the later heists, like, this past year. And you just, like, had, like, a really good time playing him. I, I describe... I, well, originally it was Locke that I, de I attached this to, but it is sort of a, a, a general term that I now use when I'm recording video games. You know, I, I, I describe it as, you know, waving my arms around and swearing for a couple of hours and being paid for it. <laughs> you know, how much more fun can you have yeah um, you know uh it, it's it's a blast and i probably over the last year you were saying you know got more into it over the last year well it's been much more consistent oh you know, yeah i've been i've been required to be lock you know a lot more in a short period of time so inevitably i think his character develops you know um uh, the writer's um, I, I don't know if I can mention Joe's name or not. Oh, wait, I mentioned his name. Um, <laughs> uh, who does, who, you know, who's who's done, I think, most of the writing. Um, and, yeah. you know, you get to know each other. He gets to know me. He knows my style better. And, you know, I'm sure that all comes out in the writing. It all comes out in the performance. Mm. And I am an actor, dear boy, so I'm required <laughs> to perform, you know. I remember the writing with Locke especially is interesting because um, it was almost a joke in the payday community that there wasn't an overarching story for a very long time, right? Like, yeah. uh, we had the dentist who showed up in, uh, I believe it was May of 2014 and hung out mm -hmm. till June 2015. And then that was pretty much it for a continuous story. They kind of hinted at at it during the, uh, the Heat Street one you did uh -huh. once for where it's like, oh, there's a group coming to destroy the Payday Gang. And then that was the last we heard of it until Alaskan Deal. So it was really weird just suddenly having this huge, big, overarching story for a game that usually just almost had, like, an objective of the day. All right, we're done. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And I think a lot of games fall into that trap. You know, where where they're creating content for, for people to, to use without thinking about how it all fits together. Yeah, um, and I think it's to Starbreeze's credit that that in order to to uh, work towards, if you like, the natural end of of Payday Two, that that they should bring a lot of those elements that had been in the game previously and join them together. Now, I, I, what I don't know is, you know, was that was that always the plan? I don't know, um, or, or I do, and I'm NDA'd. Who knows? <laughs> it's a running joke. <laughs> There's a running joke in there somewhere, um, you know, or, or was that, you know, was there some big meeting where they decided that that's what they were going to do? But I, I think it's to their eternal credit that they did. They they made it a story, and I think that really helps. They tied oh, yeah, it up, definitely. yeah. 
it was it was really weird because I started playing Payday, what was it, twenty fifteen, I think. That so about, I think yeah. yeah, I think like the Point Break heist had just come out. Mm-hmm. And um, it was really weird because at that point the game didn't have a story, so I'm used to the game not having a story. And then this whole arc started happening with Locke betraying everyone, and then oops, nope, and then it's just like that's how I sort of got into the the story of the game is the whole Locke arc and the the Kataru stuff, mm-hmm. which which is really cool. <laughs> Sorry, apple pie cheesecake again. <laughs> um, just press F to respect Locke why don't you <laughs> <laughs> so yeah really, really important to have this stuff up on the screen so I can see what's going on um, yeah I, I think um, I, I, I think the other thing about the storyline that um, was brought to my attention and it was quite deliberate was that um, the big secrets you know, especially in right at the end, the big secret, they didn't really give you that much help to solve to solve the big secret. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it took a lot of people, a lot of work to figure out what was going on and figure yeah, out. Yeah, the... and that was always the plan, as I understand it. So, so White House was released, oh. I think, on a Friday, from memory. Uh, it and, was and, Friday, and they were figuring yeah. it. They were they were figuring it would be Saturday or maybe even Sunday before somebody figured it. Um, and I th- they were right. Mm. And I th- that was that was really good. So of course that led to the whole business of me knowing about the movie. You know, at the end, the big secret movie at the mm. end. And so on the whenever the, the you know the first little cutscene was was found. You know, in the rain. Yeah. Never quite sure whether to describe that as the funeral scene or not, because I'm not. It, it's interesting, as it was. Well, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how honestly you want me to talk about this and openly. Uh, by all means, go right ahead, because you know we, we've thrown up a few people out there. We've thrown up a few warnings. You know, <laughs> and there are people out there who still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. So the, the way I read it, the funeral scene, once you know about the second secret, you know, the beach scene and the, and the president and all of that, once you've figured that mm. out, the, the first funeral scene, in inverted commas, isn't really a funeral, is it, anymore? Yeah, no. Yeah. Because there's no body, we think. Mm-hmm. You know, so... But they all, all the heisters are throwing their masks into the, you know. So is it, is that more of a, um, a significant moment for the heisters? Like it's, it's the end of their heisting days. It's the funeral for their heisting, rather than what you think is it's the funeral of Bane. Huh. I've been. Oh. Oh, I thought it like, like that. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but I can tell you as well, the shot that they used of me close up in that funeral scene, I was actually quite close. To, you know, I was quite, you know, the little jaw was quite wobbly. You know, it was quite emotional. Because we've done it several times. I now really am completely soaked through and quite <laughs> not miserable because they really do look after you well. But, you know, you're, you're tired. It's a long day. Uh, you're wet. You know, the costume becomes heavy and uncomfortable, and 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 that helps when, as an actor, you're trying to channel. You know, here's hum- someone supposedly saying goodbye to who you was probably his best friend, as it turns out. Yeah. You know. So that's, how, that's how, yeah. It's quite an emotional moment. Oh, definitely. Um, how many takes did you do of that shot? Mm. I'm I'm just curious. Um. A cheesecake number. <laughs> um, I, I didn't count, but how long is that piece? It's like two minutes. Uh, yeah, like um, two to three. Um, yeah, thereabouts. So for for every so for every shot that you see, there were probably they probably filmed it from half a dozen different angles. Huh. So 
uh, if and even though I'm not in shot, I'm on set because you never quite know as the camera pans, you know, are they going to catch your foot or whatever? Yeah. And then if you're not there, you know, somebody's going to go, oh, Locke's foot should be there. <laughs> oh, that's a continuity error. You know, um, they're going to do that kind of thing. So, uh, uh, so you're there. All, I, mean, I think my call time in the morning was like six. I'm going to say six o'clock in the morning. So I was in a in a van at six o'clock in the morning. It was almost like going on a heist. You know, oh yeah, here we go. You know, put the gloves on. <laughs> um, and then you arrive. And the first thing, the first thing I saw when I arrived were two huge tankers arriving with the water for the rain. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, this is going to be wet. Um, uh, the second thing I saw was the catering van with the breakfast. That was Ooh. very nice. And then the third thing I saw was makeup. Uh, and so uh, um, given my advanced years, um, the mustache that I had grown um, was maybe a little silver or gray, or grayer than they wanted. So um, they wanted to color that. And then, um, just because you're under lights and cameras, you know, you get you get a little a little makeup. And of course, once you've done that, you then can't really go and stuff your face full of Danish pastries. So, <laughs> uh, uh, so there was that. And then there was a walk up to where the set was. You couldn't really drive up. It was up a dirt track. So it was a, a, a walk up to there. And you get there, and you're walking up. You don't know what's going to be there. And you walk up and walk up and walk up. And then there's 60 people already working there. You know, <laughs> hanging hoses and fixing cameras and 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 you know costumes and masks and all sorts of things going on um and and then you're there all day and there's nowhere to go there's no hiding place <laughs> uh so how many takes was the question sorry um <laughs> that's I, have really, fine. I have no idea lots <laughs> did they have to go into the uh into the hole and get all the masks out after each take I, so the, uh, <laughs> so here's a big you know big reveal secret Hmm. So what they did, they had two guys in that hole holding a piece of camouflage netting. Huh. So so the masks, because the masks, some of those masks, they're quite delicate. Mm -hmm. So if you kept throwing them in, they would break or bits of them would break off. So they had this. So they were throwing them into this camouflage netting and then the, then lifting the netting out. Uh, huh. So um, so when you, you, you obviously, you know, by the one, wonders of technology, you don't see any of that. Neither do you see the fact that I was actually wearing a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never see it the same way again. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh I'm, I'm so sorry. I've ruined it for you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. So, in, so if you think about it, so in the one scene, it's pouring with rain. I mean, torrential rain. Hmm. I mean, you know, like literally someone, there's, there's this big machine up in the trees, which is just pouring water out at you at you know hundreds of gallons a minute mm -hmm. and everybody's got an umbrella except me <laughs> you know and i've got a woolly hat on oh. <laughs> oh. You know, which which became quite sodden and quite wet uh, and quite <laughs> heavy uh, and towards the end of the day started leaking green dye down my face oh. uh, so it's not a complaint it's just a you know it was a, quite a, you know just one of those things so and then cut to you know two days later we're on the beach and i'm like great yeah nice bit of sun no worries yeah you're gonna be in full combat fatigues <laughs> uh, up on the rocks with no shelter uh oh and you're going to be wearing a woolly hat again <laughs> And all the other guys who had, you know, had masks, umbrellas and suits and all of that, um, they're now in their, you know, their Hawaiian shirts and shorts. So they're enjoying the sun uh, while I'm up on the rocks hitting golf balls in, in <laughs> full combat fatigues and a woolly hat. <laughs> so, so what, I mean, I, I may, that's meant to be funny. You know, that's meant to be a joke. Um, uh -huh. uh, uh, you know, it was completely marvelous uh, week that we spent doing that it was just wonderful and i have absolutely no complaints whatsoever just in case anybody's listening <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind me asking brilliant. uh where'd you guys film that or those if that's something you're able to answer um i i, I guess i mean we were i can't tell you exactly where because i don't know but mm -hmm. the 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 mexico scene was in a forest somewhere 
and the beach scene was on a beach somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> True enough. Um, they were the two locations were probably a uh, three or four hour drive from each other. So we 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 were there doing the one the one day for the funeral scene, and then we had basically left that uh, packed up and drove to the next location where we where we stayed for the rest of the week. Mm. Um, I, I, I I'm a bit wary of saying exactly where it was because yeah it would be unfair on the people that live there for suddenly uh, uh, hundreds of payday fans to descend <laughs> upon it. You know that would probably be a bit unfair. Yeah, that that is fair. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if yeah. has ever taken off those fatigues. No, I bathe in them. I shower in them. <laughs> you know, everything. I'm sat in them right now. <laughs> there are a few constants I wanted in this the world. The fatigues I wore, I wanted them. I asked them if I could have them, but they didn't belong to Starbreeze, so they couldn't give them to me. Oh. Oh. You need I to go was, buy was, some was, and just like wear them around. <laughs> Uh, my my eldest daughter is quite into the whole cosplay thing, and I and we have she's she said you should cosplay Lock. <laughs> <clears throat> um, uh, so I have threatened to do that on a number of occasions, and one of these days I will. That'd be awesome. Um, oh, and I'll tell everybody. You know, I'll say, hey, I'm going to what, such and such a convention, and if you see somebody dressed as Lock, that'll probably be me. Um, <laughs> Uh, she also makes T-shirts. Um, now that there's, you, you've seen the the computer generated version of me as Locke, uh, the picture that there's the the vote going on for at the moment. You know, oh yeah. Um, uh, I, I've I've thought of the idea of having her put that onto a T-shirt, and with with the phrase "I am Locke." <laughs> And just see what people, <laughs> whether people work it out or not. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, uh, and another one with the picture of the psyker on it, which is another character that I play in a Warhammer game, saying I am the psyker, and see <laughs> people work it out. Yeah. Huh. So, uh, so yes, uh, it's very likely that you'll see me cosplaying as Locke somewhere, sometime, some point in the future. But I can't tell you where, when, or how, because I don't know. Cool. I was wondered whether there would be another payday con as well. That would be cool. That would be fun. Um, you know, for a game, if you think about it, for a game to have a, a large enough following to warrant an an entire event dedicated to it, and for people, hundreds of people to turn up, that's saying that's something. Oh yeah, yeah. Payday's got a ridiculous <clears throat> uh, fan base. You know, I'm looking at it right now on this because I was looking for the image of the computer lock model but there's 8,000 people playing as lock right now or playing not playing as, as not playing as lock I mean playing there payday mods, but... there are <laughs> mods for that yeah there. I think they said uh, someone said to me over dinner one night when we were at the filming they said there, there's something like 30 on average 30,000 people playing payday at any given time yeah, that's about some, right. Yeah. Some ridiculous hours. number. Yeah. Um, you know, which is kind of scary, really. That that you know, many people are hearing your voice. <laughs> well, I, I, yes. I, you know, it's, it, it's that sort of thing. If you knew it, if you thought about it when you were doing it, 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 might, it might impact you. You know, mm. you think, oh, shit, this actually is quite important, really. Uh, at least to those people. Um, but, I, you know, I'm... I, I, Voiceover people tend to come from one of two or three backgrounds. You know, they're either actors, or they're radio people, or they're technical people. Um, <laughs> originally, so I'm an actor people originally, um, which is why I'm rubbish at the technology, by the way. Um, uh, but it means that for things like this, the performance is m m most important. To, you know, I want to perform. That's what I do. You know, that's what I like doing. So. <laughs> Uh, I do think about it a bit. I promise. I do think about it. I promise. <laughs> there you go. The military fatigues are his clothes. <laughs> yep, that's true. Would you, other than playing Locke, play as other character? Yeah, I want to play as fucking Hoxton, wouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, my 12-year-old's now going to leave the room. 
She's closing the door so that the adults <laughs> can't hear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I can do a reasonable Hoxton. In uh, fact, um, I don't know if you know this, but so the actor Hoxton is not the voice actor Hoxton. You know that, don't you? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So we're on the set, uh, and uh, he's an American guy, and he and he says to me, "How would Hoxton say these lines?" <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was saying some of the lines as Hoxton for him because obviously Hoxton was then going to have to lip sync later. Mm-hmm. So uh, he was trying to, in his in his um, voice, impersonating my impersonation of Hoxton, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite fun. Yeah, it's, it's weird with the whole Hoxton situation, because you've got Pete Gold doing Hoxton's voice, but then his face model is, I believe his name is Josh Len, and then he's the voice for Bodie in Payday. Yeah. Yeah, and that's Josh in the movie, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, hang on, my 12-year-old daughter has asked me a question. Do I get to introduce myself? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I've just released her to technology. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, well, and of course, well, I mean, Pete Gold is a great, great voice actor, but probably to be, he would probably uh, admit he probably doesn't look like Host- Hoxton should probably look. Mm-hmm. You know, he's tall and lanky and a big mop of curly hair, if I remember rightly. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Um, but he's, yeah, he's a good guy. Hmm. Um, I had a question, like in. In terms of uh, filming both the the funeral scene and the beach scene, mm. um, what was it like just like hanging out with like the rest of the cast? Oh well, <laughs> I know I know well, most of them weren't there, but the ones that were there. Well, of course, Damien. I mean, Damien is a hoot. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's brilliant. I mean, everyone was brilliant. Eric's Eric's such a nice guy. Uh, Josh, such a nice guy. Uh, Mira. Well, Mira and I are contemporaries. You know, we're a similar age, so. Uh, we bonded uh, over a glass of wine, you know that kind of thing. Uh, I forgave her for hitting me in the face with a briefcase. <laughs> um, we, we 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 were we were joking. We figured there should be, you know how how uh, like movies have spin-off series. The, yeah. There should be a spin-off. You know, it should be The Butcher and Locke, or should it be Locke and the Butcher? I'd watch that. <laughs> we're gonna go and and do a heist in, you know, raid the the casino at Monte Carlo or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that. like uh, dirty rotten scoundrels. You know, Michael Caine and um, the other one. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh God, who is Quick. it? Steve Martin. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, but, yeah, we had a good laugh. We had a good laugh. And Ilya, who's um, Vlad. Have you? Oh, has yeah. anybody ever looked at what he's been in? He's been in a lot of stuff, man. He's been man. in a bunch of stuff, and a he, lot of his characters been... are named Vlad. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he's, he's been with any movie that there has ever been that needs a Russian mafioso, you know, guy. He's in it. Yeah, <laughs> he's been in everything, and and he's a he's a funny guy. He's very funny. So yeah, great time hanging out. I mean, with the exception that if you think about it, I'm up on. If you think about the, the logistics of the of the beach scene, they're all under the tent, mm-hmm. and I'm up on the rocks. <laughs> and when they're filming them in the tent, I have to be up on the rocks just in case I'm caught, you know, in, in the, the background. Back of the shot. Yeah. Uh, so um, when I wasn't needed they generally were so i was kind of sat off in a corner reading my book uh uh, you know and when i'm wanted i'm up on the rocks on my own so um during the filming there wasn't a huge amount of time and of course you can't chat very loudly and laugh because there's filming going on you know oh take 73 damien's laughing again (laughs) you know it wouldn't work really would it uh (laughs) but but you know after hours over dinner you know, we had a we had a real good laugh. Nice. Nice. When you were up there on the rocks, were you still like doing the golfing motion even when they were filming the 
the tent scenes just for continuity's sake or um I, I, only at the point where i was going to be likely in shot they would they would have me stood up there i, I just stood with i didn't have to swing the club but i had the club in my hands yeah mm. most certainly cool. and then so again of course you can't see it but there were don't take this the wrong way guys there were two young ladies up on the rocks with me <laughs> <laughs> one of them one of them taking care of of uh, uh costume and makeup uh, and the other one um, with an umbrella to keep the sun on. <laughs> and, of course, every time then they're going to shoot, they then duck down behind the rock so you can't see them. And then when <laughs> they're setting for the next shot, they kind of pop up, you know, and, and primp your beret and tap your face to get the sweat off and all this kind of thing. And then, you know, and the other ladies there with the umbrella. And I felt, I felt quite guilty, you know, that they're not under the umbrella and I'm there under the umbrella. <laughs> Oh. <gasps> okay. Uh, this is not again. Um, but there's two L's in Russell. Oh, is there? <laughs> I'm gonna be... here. I get it all the time. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna yell at our graphics guy after this. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Oh, look, it's the Houses of Parliament. <laughs> <laughs> so let's a... talk about that heist, I guess. Actually, because uh -huh. that's the yeah. the. Uh... The White first House? heist that has two separate endings, depending on how you want to play it. Mm. Uh, I, I would argue... That wasn't a comment. Um, <laughs> I, I would argue it has more than that, because yeah. when you're doing the second secret, if you don't succeed in certain things... Oh, that's uh, true. I forgot. Uh, yeah. Bane and Locke get got by um, the dentist. Yeah. There, there is an alternate universe where Locke has been shot in the head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, so you about think. It. I think that, well, I haven't seen it, but does the door shut before you see that? I think you. So there's hear four. It. There's four versions. There's the, one where you don't open the door fast enough, so you hear it. There's one where you open the door, but don't comply with the dentist, and that time you do see it. And yeah. then there's the one where uh, you let the dentist uh, get got, and, you know, that proceeds as normal. And yeah. And that is... And is there another version when... Well, so you've killed the dentist. Now, is there another version where, with the pretty lights thing, where that doesn't work? You have to get yes, the... Yes, you're right. You have to cause... get the bricks in the right order or something? Uh, I don't think it's necessarily about the order. You just have to socket them all in this huge ring quick enough. Yes, it's a timing thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's another ending. So the White House yeah. has five different what, five endings. endings. Yeah, five or six for the secret alone. Yeah. And then there's the main one. So there one. you go. And then there's the big, you know, ha ha, I'm the president. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert for Payday 2. Yeah. Look, sold us out. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was quite deliberate. You're lucky I came back. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, that's the heist that's on screen now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what was your reaction when you heard about? I I know you literally just spoiled it, but like when you <laughs> heard about the uh, the the bane thing at the end of of the um of the beach scene like what what did you think like oh okay he's now okay like he's now the the president maybe um <laughs> okay so the second day i was there i was sat having lunch um with john delancey mm. and um now, I remember him as Q from Star Trek, but he doesn't really look like that anymore. Yeah. And I didn't know who he was. <laughs> I didn't recognize him. <laughs> so I'm there having lunch with Q from Star Trek. So I didn't know who it was. How's that? That's awesome. <laughs> so you're just like, wait a minute, you're... And it's like, yup. And he was saying something about... He said he was flying uh, to uh, Nashville... Which I suppose at least tells you that we were a flying distance away from Nashville. Mm -hmm. um, he was flying to Nashville to do something with William Shatner. Huh. 
and and I was thinking, why are you going? What? Who? What? Uh, so, so he goes off to the bathroom, and I get my phone out, and I'm like, <laughs> hooking him up. And I'm like, like oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Now I know who you are. You know, and then you fan crush because he's just brilliant. Um, so, uh, in answer to your question about the whole presidential thing, I mean, mm -hmm. I. I uh, that was something that I found out through conversation with people at Starbreeze, not mm -hmm. because I was on set. Yeah. Um, th there's there's nothing directly in the story that tells you that until the president says, let's do this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is the last line, I think. Yep. I think it's the last ever line in the game spoken yeah. by anyone. Yeah. Um, no, by, not, not spoken by, by no, from Star last Trek. line in the game spoken by anyone is, where's my fucking drink? Oh, that's right. You're right. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right. Oh, which my was, God. Which was not in the script. It wasn't. <laughs> no. No, because we, we tried it where where we would have five drinks, and I would come in and and nudge my way between Eric and Damien. <laughs> And get a drink, and Eric would pass me a drink, but it was just too—it was too comical, because the way I felt it anyway. Because you know, I'm like this. It felt like I was this little guy, you know, because they're both six foot fifteen. You know, <laughs> they're both tall, tall guys, and Damien in particular, he's you know, he's a big guy, you know. And then there's me, you know, five foot something, you know, slightly pot-bellied middle-aged bloke you know <laughs> like, <laughs> and, he's, and it just it just wasn't working mm. so instead of me trying to work my way through them we just had me in the background just just they said just 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 come up and stay in the background and and i can't do that you know there's as an actor there's always got to be a motivation for why you do something mm -hmm. so right so so i'm there and it, it just it was the obvious thing where's my fucking drink where's my fucking drink you know, I've been up there in the, you know, and I've been hit in the face by the fucking butcher. Where's my fucking drink? <laughs> <laughs> so in this game about robberies, you showed up and stole the ending. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I'm so sorry about that. Nah, it was great. <laughs> I do apologize. Um, we've been going about 45 minutes, so if we want to open it up to Q&A with the chat, and that could be fun. Yeah, yeah, I'll, you know. All right. And some quick... Deeply personal questions I might not answer. Fair enough. So quick notes for those of you in chat. Uh, we're going to be running some giveaways throughout the process, um, which Ian was kind enough to provide us with. And here's our fancy little graphic for this. <clears throat> so we are going to be handing these out after the stream. You don't have to type any special phrases or anything to enter. Just by sending your questions in the chat, you're automatically entered into the giveaway as a <laughs> raffle participant. So just send us questions, have some fun, and there you go. <laughs> Someone said, uh... oh, it's gone. Someone says, do I have any information on consoles? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I'm a voice actor. I don't know anything about consoles. I'm so sorry. Um, I, 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 I wish it was easier. I, I, well, I can tell you, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I don't know the technicalities of this, so you'll have to forgive me for this. But um, th this was a subject of conversation at one point when we were at the filming. And um, for those of you who have consoles, it is extremely difficult and complicated to get the upgrades sorted. They can be written fairly easily, but I, as I understand it, but. Uh, getting everything coded and ratified by the co has to all be go through, you know, the Xbox people or the the PlayStation people. They've got to ratify it all, and by the time that's all done and come back, if it's like an event heist, for example, it, it, that happened six months ago. By the time they get it back, so it's really difficult for them to do that. Um, that's not an excuse. That's just me not quite understanding exactly how it works, <clears throat> but something like that. It's very complicated. Yeah, it's a whole to do. Uh, like we said when we were announcing this podcast, the three of it's us all, don't work in that is, office. It's all someone else's fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
if only you had attached the ropes to the pallets the first time <laughs> I asked, it would all have happened smoothly. It's all your fault. <laughs> Thanks, Payday community. Was there any intention to make a joke when you first did the recording in Beneath the Mountain? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Awesome. Didn't we discuss that already? We might have. Yes, I think that was one of the first things we discussed. It was the uh, the 1812 Overture thing. Set oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I became sarcastic. Us Brits, we're not sarcastic at all, ever. Nah. <laughs> totally not. <laughs> was there anything you ever wanted to say as Locke but was not allowed to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have... It, more. It is more likely that I'll be reading a line... And I'll say, can I try something with that? Can I change it a little bit? Or can I add a for sure in? Or can I swear? You know, um, and I don't think I've ever been denied. How dare they wouldn't dare deny me. I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd hack. I'd hack Starbreeze and put them all down. <laughs> Prime Net versus Starbreeze. Oh, dear. Yeah, didn't you know they're one and the same thing? <laughs> I knew it. Uh, uh, what is your favourite colour? <laughs> How old is that person? <laughs> Twelve. Or two. Uh, green. Light on a beret. Huh. There you go. How much in voicing in Payday... How much has voicing in Payday changed your life? How does it feel to know you brought a whole... I'm filling up with joy. <laughs> Uh, uh, um, on a serious note, being involved in a in a big, well-known game helps. You know, I'm eternally grateful to the idiot at Starbreeze that originally <laughs> cast me, um, <laughs> because they created a monster. Um, it's. It, uh, I have to be careful exactly how much I say. Um, and nothing to do with Payday. But th there is a game um, that I was involved in. And the casting went through four or five rounds of casting. Uh, and I got through each round. And then it got to the last round of casting. And they wrote to me and they said, it's between you and another guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, don't tell me that. You know. <laughs> Because if I don't get it, I'll now I'll know that I was so close and I didn't get it, you know. Um, so anyway, I wrote back to them and I said, well, um, not that it should make any difference to your casting, but, <laughs> um, you know, I am quite a significant character in the Payday franchise. And I do have my own Twitter account that's got, oh, I don't know, four or five thousand people who play video games on it. And if you cast me, they'd all know. And there are people that buy games just because I'm in it. Which seems a bit odd, mm -hmm. but there are, um, <laughs> and and they cast me. So hey, there you go. There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Starbreeze. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So uh, yeah, it's it's like that snowball thing. You know, it's hard to get the little snowball rolling to start with, but once mm -hmm. it gets bigger, it gathers more snow. So uh, as a, if you like, as a part of my business portfolio makeup, video games. Is, is an increasingly large proportion of it because I get cast more because I've been in more games. Imagine if you're casting, you know, a big AAA game, you're going to cast people who, who either you already know and trust or have a significant portfolio proving that you've done it before and that they're not going to waste, you know, time and, and money casting someone who just can't pull it off. Uh, so absolutely uh, has an has an impact. Yes. How was that cheesecake you had? It was lovely. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Do you want me just to answer questions as I see them? Yeah. Uh, if you want, what I've seen if pop you... up a few times was: Have you ever interacted with Georgia Van Kylenberg? God, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, <laughs> um, yes. I mean, not one to one, you know, face to face, but. But uh, 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 on Twitter, I think, probably. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, yes. There you go. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't have a question. I just wanted to say Locke's my favourite character. I love you, Locke. <laughs> I love you too. All of you. Ah. Huh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. I don't know that Locke can say love. <laughs> Is it not his range? <laughs> <laughs> it might not be. <laughs> <clears throat> I have to go on in. <clears throat> no, I see. I'm, I've got. It. This is bad news. I have a Scottish accent in my head. <laughs> <laughs> so that's causing me a problem right in the minute. <laughs> like when on vacation and got stuck for a second. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've done that once during recording. Oh, have you? Recording. I don't. Can't tell you which heist it was. I don't remember. But I'm like halfway through a line, and this the Scottish accent came out halfway through. And we all fell about laughing. And I was I was horribly embarrassed. Um, but uh, which voice actors do you aspire to be more like? Says Crimson Crimson Nocturne. See, I think they should all aspire to be more like me. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, what can I say? Nolan North. Who wouldn't want to be Nolan North? Dave Fenoy. Whoa, what a talent! All right, so we're gonna silence. Uh... <laughs> Nolan North is. <laughs> nah, Nolan's Nolan... been in a ton of stuff. He's in everything. The Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Locke is my favorite Payday Two villain. But is um, he a villain? It, it, well, yeah, Locke's interesting, isn't he? Because how? I mean, clearly, you know, the gang and Locke opposite uh, operate on the slightly shady side of the law. You know, robbing banks isn't exactly considered a socially acceptable activity. Um, but he's not exactly evil, is he? I don't think. No. I don't think he's exactly evil. It's a weird, like, flip-flop that the series did. He started out robbing banks, and then you ended up saving America from the Illuminati. And then taking mm -hmm. it for yourself. And stealing America, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there are, I mean, they say there are only, like, three stories ever you know or everything's a a version of one of two or three stories mm -hmm. was there a reason oh where is it was there a reason why Locke outright betray the gang in alaskan deal um well yeah he was doing a favor for his friend bane because bane knew that the gang was going to get mixed up in whatever he was about to get mixed up in and he wanted the gang out of dc mm. so he asked Locke to help so Locke uh, invented uh, uh, a gun deal, I think it was, wasn't it? Um, and they had to go to Alaska so that, so that they could help him. Pretty tenuous, but there you go. And then he goes, oh, wait a minute, I've got something else to do. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, I'm leaving now, good day. <laughs> <laughs> it's good day, chaps. Good luck. <laughs> but you've got to remember, don't forget, he left you big lots of guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if he wanted to betray the gang, he would have put you on a train to Alaska and then stolen your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most difficult part of being a video game voice actor? Finding people to hire you. Um, <laughs> would you like to do a collaboration with Nolan North? Uh, yeah. Uh, who wouldn't? Um, you know, it all rubs off, doesn't it? Gloss rubs off. He'd, he'd be much more famous once he'd been acting with me. <coughs> um, uh, uh, do you like golfing like Locke? Yes, um, I play not every week, but most weeks with my father-in-law. Oh, nice. So when they had this whole golf thing, um, uh, there wasn't... I'm not sure they'd thought about Locke actually hitting golf balls um but i told that you know i arrived and the golf clubs are there and i said i do play golf and they went oh uh, you want to hit one <laughs> so so this is i don't know six o'clock at the first light the sun has literally just come up they had me on set in the dark on the rocks getting ready setting up the cameras you know it takes like 20 minutes to set up the shot um and uh, they want to be there so that we could start filming as soon as the sun came up. 
because they were thinking, you know, I'm going to be hot and sweaty otherwise. So they, 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 that was very kind of them. And, I, and, and so I'm there. The very, very first thing that I did was hit a golf ball with all these cameras around. And that was quite nerve wracking. And I thought, well, um, if I hack this into the rocks and it bounces off, bounces off a bit of a rock and smashes into a camera, you know, <laughs> <laughs> or kills the director or something, you know, this wouldn't be, wouldn't be the best thing. Um, but I, I screamed it 200 yards down the fairway, as it were, um, towards towards the towards the boat, um, <laughs> and I didn't look back from there. Every, actually, I hit everyone perfectly. It oh. was it was brilliant. Nice. <laughs> uh, so yes, I, I play golf as often as I can, but probably not every week, but say two or three times a month. Except now it's winter and it's cold. So no, not right now. Mm. What is your favourite line? Um, the white star line. <laughs> <laughs> For a split a second, I'm sitting a there. A straight like... one. What is your favourite line? A straight one. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chilly Night 77. I'm being sarcastic again. <laughs> Um, I have grown quite fond of the "I'll club your fucking lights up." <laughs> I quite like that. Mm. Out of all the heists, which was your favourite to voice? All of them. <laughs> um, what was your favourite to act in? The beach scene, <laughs> <laughs> which is not a heist. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. You have to suck it up. Um, uh, no, the, in terms of of, of voicing, um, uh, what was the one where they went to Area Fifty One? Was that like Henry's uh, Hen Rock? yeah, Henry's Rock? Yeah, yeah, that was that was a great deal of fun because mm. there were all these weird things in it. Yeah, yeah, and that uh, you know, and oh, and it also included that bit where Locke sees sees inverted commas sees Bane through a window mm. yep and and you know that was that was quite challenging that was mm. good do you like runescape <laughs> 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 what is this I've, I've got no time to do anything else I don't play I get all, I get asked quite a lot do I play video games do I play payday um I have played Payday. I'm not very good. You know, then, oh, I'll play with you. Let's play Payday. We'd love to see you playing Payday. And um, I'll, I'll go out and it's like, oh, guys, I'm going to have to take a, a one minute hiatus. I'll be right back. Okay. Right. No problem. We can right. banter. Sure. All right. Okay. So. Great. Uh, I guess Gus will give you a call. Um... Okay. Do you have questions for us, chat? Ah. We doing? We're doing good. Hello, Thank I'm you. I'm back. Ah, there you go. You can stop talking about me now. Aw. Uh, what was I saying? Um, I have no idea. Uh, playing Payday. Playing Payday, yes. Yeah, so me playing Payday, if you were watching me play Payday, it would be like, crosses street puts on mask runs into bank dies <laughs> <laughs> end of game you're in custody <laughs> no it would be uh, it wouldn't last very long mm -hmm. so my daughter is mm -hmm. shouting at me now <laughs> oh yes yes oh. Eva heard me she said tell them about your minecraft experience so um, both my daughters were playing Minecraft, and they said, play with us, Dad, play with us, Dad. So I said, okay. So I spawned, um, and my little character fell in the water and drowned. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. I, th I think it was... Did I, you've it, never played Minecraft every day. Did it last maybe 15 seconds? However long uh, it takes a character to die to, by drowning <laughs> in Minecraft. That's how long it lasted. Aww. So uh, yeah, mine, I'm, I don't really play uh, that sort of thing. Things in games in real time um, are a are a challenge for me because I'm old. 
Um, I prefer games that allow me to, like to, games that I crush to, you to, to, yeah, with like strategy game games that either crush. What was that? Um, the, the Chimera one that I was so much better at figuring out. What oh yeah, this was a game. <laughs> I did a couple of voices for one of those. Um, find the hidden object. object oh okay. Games. I did a couple of characters for one of those, and they sent me a copy of the game. And Eva was found all the objects quicker than I did. <laughs> not only am I. Do I have bad reactions? But I'm also blind. <laughs> In turn, yeah. hindering the reactions. Yeah. Uh, yes, indeed. <laughs> or indeed, knowing which way to shoot. <laughs> uh, I'm actually working on a. This is not for a video game. This is for a video reel um, to promote my acting skills. Um, but I'm working on a on a character who is blind at the moment. He's a. I think he's a superhero scientist kind of guy, oh. but he's blind. So oh, that'll cool. see that'll see the light of day one of these days. One of these days, I'm still learning the lines for that. Cool. Huh. Uh, that's not for anything that's going to be filmed or made or anything like that. It's just uh, me working on, you know, just kind of coaching, learning your craft as it were. Huh. There you go. No NDA is broken You get this tens day. of thousands of viewers streaming payday. Yeah, I might, but it would be a very short stream. <laughs> <laughs> we established that already. If someone says Minecraft Lockmaster. You know all these Minecraft things. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny guys, yeah. <laughs> Put the rope on the fucking pellet. See there are oh. certain lines that do re do you know that's one of the lines that crops up. Mm -hmm. When did Damien and Ian first meet? Um in a van? <laughs> Seems appropriate. Um, yes, it does. Yeah, uh, driving from a hotel to the set, I think, or maybe from hotel to hotel. I can't quite remember. Hmm. But yes, um, at the offshore payday, that was when I first met Damien. Hmm. Um, we had met virtually, as it were, um, by text, Twitter, kind of thing, technology things. Uh, but that was the first time in the flesh. He's a great guy. I like him a lot. Just in case he's listening. <laughs> Wherever he is, I don't want to. I don't want to say where he is because. Who, Damien? Yeah, I don't want to say where he is because then it's going to be all over the internet, and that's that's no good. <laughs> um, I, I don't think there's any secret that he lives in L.A. That's true. Mm -hmm. It's where most actors live. I don't live in L.A. though. Don't go to L.A. looking for me. I'm not there. <laughs> It won't work. <laughs> it won't work. You'll spend a lot of time looking. Are you in contact with the other heisters? The heisters are not real people. Um, <laughs> the voice actors, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Damien, yes. Eric, yes. Um, Pete Gold, a little bit, yes. Um, Georgia, a little bit, yes. Vlad, a little bit, yes. Mira, a little bit, yes. Huh. Mira, Mira has promised to take me to her favorite coffee shop if I ever get to LA. Nice. Mira's the butcher, <laughs> by the way. In case anybody doesn't know, mm. Mira Forlan, who was in Lost and Babylon 5. Oh, fan crush. <laughs> uh, 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 and I got to act with her. I mean, how cool is that? That's awesome. Uh, completely awesome. Completely awesome. Sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> It's so weird how many just, like, actors of so many different scales that Payday brings in, you know? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Completely. Like, you, know, you got, I, I, you got I, Charlotte, you got John Cleese. Just... Yeah. Yeah, I didn't get to meet him. That's a shame. It's a pity Old Stone wasn't... He probably... They probably couldn't pay him enough money. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would have been... Talk about fan crushing. If he'd have been there, I'd have been hiding behind a rock. <laughs> cosplay would you be serious to go to conventions as Locke for a meetup of some kind with payday fans yes huh yeah there you go yeah I mean if I ever get round to cosplaying Locke and I'm going to convention I will tell you and I'll probably bring bring you know sheets of codes and stuff with me you know it's <laughs> it's, it's what I do 
this the whole lock thing with the community the twitter account and and doing stuff like this i do this because it's fun i'm not being paid to do this this is because it's just a blast mm. and what else am i going to do seven o'clock on a wednesday night <laughs> <laughs> What else have we got? That's... What's your least favourite question that you've been asked? That one. Oh. <laughs> that is the least favourite question that I've been asked. Oh, I mean, I think it was Chili. Didn't Chili Knight ask me what my favourite colour was? I think it's the same person. It is the same person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's your favourite colour? <laughs> Loads of money. <laughs> loads of money, yeah. Loads of money was. Um, oh God, what was that comedian? Um, uh, loads Harry, of money. Harry something. Him. Harry, Harry, yes, him. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I remember that. He did another character, which was an old guy. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to do it like that. Oh no, no, you wouldn't want to do it like that. And it was the costume he wore and the flat cap looked just like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Shame Alston and Locke never had a conversation. Shame Alston and Locke never got to be in a room together. <laughs> yeah. Sadly, John Cleese will be leaving the UK. I don't think he lives in the UK now, does he? Does he? I think he lives in America, probably. I must confess, I'm not too up to date I, on I, the, I the ongoings in the life of John Cleese. Apple pie cheesecake all around. <clears throat> we need a cheesecake mask. That's what we need. I'm on it. <laughs> what type of music do you generally listen to? Um, it, Harry Enfield. Well done, Inspector 81. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it varies. Music varies. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> my daughter's giving me the answers, I should say. My, my... <laughs> so we went to see Bohemian Rhapsody recently, the mm. movie. Oh, how uh, was it? And... It, it, I liked it. I was really good. But you see, it's of my age. You know, mm. I I can remember sitting in my living room at the time watching Live Aid live. You know, I saw oh. that. You know, I was around. In fact, I had. Remember, are there people here old enough to remember uh, magnetic cassette tapes? Um, yes. So, so, yeah. so they were playing the whole yeah. Live Aid thing on the radio on Radio One, BBC Radio One, mm. uh, and I was I recorded the whole thing like 24 hours whatever it was i had like 30 tapes or something <laughs> um uh, all gone now um but uh, so we are listening to a lot of queen at the moment interestingly my 12 year old didn't know who queen were didn't want to go and see the movie but she came anyway because it was better than sitting at home on her own uh, uh and of course there's all this music and she goes oh i know that song oh i know that song <laughs> you know so you hear all this music but they the, the you know people who don't who weren't of that age don't don't understand where it came from and so mm. that's a good thing i think because you know queen are awesome oh yeah oh yeah uh Definitely. what else do i listen to um uh pink floyd nice um i, I do have in my studio uh, vinyl albums that I've bought over the years and I've put all British ones in my studio so let's see who have we got we've got uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood uh, Jethro Tull oh god showing some <laughs> I might leave that one out Steel Ice Fan Linda's Farm uh, Jeff Wayne's The War of the Worlds so I've got the original vinyl album of that which is cool oh, uh, nice. Camel Pink Floyd U2 Elton John Ian Jury and the Blockheads Super Tramp more Pink Floyd uh, Beatles Sgt. Pepper album uh, Bowie that's that's what I can see hmm. so all, at, oh, at one time or another I've listened to all of those people huh so I don't know if that answers the question but... I saw another question in chat that I'm actually curious about as well yes. if you what's your favourite colour <laughs> <laughs> If you had to design a mask for a lock, what would it look like? Mm, yeah, that's a tough one, I think. Sorry, I didn't see who posted that, by the way. I don't... I didn't either. 
Yeah. I didn't see it, but it, it, someone did uh, like that has been asked on the, on the Twitter chat before, mm-hmm. and I, I don't, I, I really, really, genuinely don't know. The obvious thought is, you know, something relating to South Africa, mm. you know, so green and gold, um, you know, a Springbok, um, something like that, cup of rooibos tea, mm. um, but I, I don't really know. Uh, helicopter. You know, on the, <laughs> the forehead, something like that. Um, Give it like a little propeller hat, you know? Yeah, yeah well, yeah, one of those. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, or, or maybe... So, the, so here's the reverse psychology thing. It should be a mask with a mustache and a beret painted on it. <laughs> I think that's not what you look like. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm wearing a mask so you don't know what I look like. But actually, it's him. That would be... That <laughs> it's would... just a mask of his face. Yeah, there you go. No, no, not of his face, but just with a mustache and a, <laughs> and a beret, you know, or, or like you know, a white, complete white face like Marcel Marceau, you know, with the and then a, a beret, you know, something like yeah, I mean, something like that. I don't know, mm. but I mean, will Locke ever be a heister? I, I, Hopefully. I mean, is that is that canon? Who? You see, I don't know the law well enough. Has a contractor become a heister? Uh. We had Jimmy from Hardcore Henry, the movie, stopped by as a heister for a while. He was a contractor. Okay. I think that's it. Hoxton yes. technically is the contractor for the safe house, but... Ah, uh, yes. Pay me to go home, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's a hard one to answer, you know, and... Like I said earlier, you know, NDA or not, I really don't know what's going to happen with Payday 3. Um... But if I had, if someone was going to, you know, tie me down and say, uh, uh, what, what, what is, if, e- even if Locke is involved in Payday, and that, you know, it's not certain, if Locke were involved in Payday 3, I would imagine him more as a contractor than as a heister. I, I, I'm not entirely <laughs> convinced I would see him as a heister. I, I, having said all of that, if Starbreeze want to make Locke a heister, I'll put it on record right now. If you want Locke, Locke as a heister, I will do the voice lines for it. I will. I promise. <laughs> you know, I'd love that. Of course I would. Who wouldn't? But I, I think his... I, I, I'm not sure I see his personality as someone who wrote, puts a mask on and runs in with a guns blazing. Hmm. Right, because he's a, he's a few lines even in Beneath the Mountain when you first get outside where he's like, oh, I'm not used to fighting you know i don't i'm just mm-hmm. gonna sit over here in the helicopter so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes and um in uh, uh uh i can't remember what it's called the one where we get bane out of the prison hell's uh, island hell's island hell's island you know so he comes out of the chopper and pick and picks up bane and carries him but he doesn't want to get involved in the fighting does he right yeah yeah he says you shoot them i'll carry bane Mm-hmm. Fucking bet bastard! <laughs> you better not die on me. Let's see. I still love the little like scuttle Locke does as he <laughs> descends the wall. <laughs> he just like comes down the wall, walks over, and Bane's just like face planted into the ground. <laughs> What's the hardest role you've ever done that you can talk about? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um. Hmm. I, I depends on what you mean by hardest. Um, physically, uh, I've done. Uh, okay, yes. So physically, years and years and years ago, I was in a, a panto on stage, pantomime. Mm. The Brits will know what I'm talking about. Um, and uh, I was playing the villain. <laughs> Oddly enough, this seems to be a recurring theme through my life. <laughs> uh, uh, and. Um, Classically, the hero is played by a girl, you know, principal. Mm. They call principal boy. So we had this with pirate thing. It was Robinson Crusoe, I think, was the the, the panto. Uh, so I'm playing Black Will, the pirate. Aha! Uh, and we have this sword fight, and we've got these metal swords, and we have this very carefully choreographed, very slow mock sword fight. At the end of which, I fall to the floor, and the hero wins. Okay. So uh, clearly, the adrenaline gets the better of the young lady playing the hero, and she's actually swinging at me with this <laughs> metal sword on stage in front of hundreds of 
five-year-olds that if she decapitates me wouldn't <laughs> set them up for a happy life. <laughs> and, and so I'm, I'm genuinely protecting myself <laughs> from this mad woman with a metal sword. <laughs> uh, so um, that was probably the hardest thing because, uh, well, I, I, hard. I mean, I guess I did it. I was, you know, I didn't know I was really wasn't something conscious. It was self-preservation. <laughs> um, uh, so, so. Uh, uh, I'll call that the hardest. Um, filming the funeral scene for Payday was a challenge because there are no words in it. Mm. No one says a word in that in the whole thing, so you have to convey everything without voice. Uh, so th that was that was a, an acting challenge, um, and we talked quite a lot about, you know, the putting the we didn't know were we going to put the beret on or not. Was he going to salute or not? If he was going to salute, was it going to be a proper military salute and all this kind of thing? Um, and uh, so uh, I felt that yes, he would put his hat on. That's a mark of respect. But the salute, this is his friend, not a fallen military comrade. So it was more of a, you know, a, a little nod to him, a little, you know, the little two fingers, not, not, <laughs> not the British two fingers, I should say. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, we've all seen it, but, uh, oh, spoiler alert. Um, you know, so it was, yeah. it was, it was kind of, we, we, we found this kind of halfway point between, between him um, recognizing his military background whilst still identifying that this was his friend mm. and hence the sad face hmm. so that was a, that was quite challenging that was a challenge but hey we're up for a challenge aren't we oh yeah <laughs> always would you meet a Serbian heister in payday 3 if Locke is bound to come back I, how would I know that <laughs> <laughs> Why Serbian? <laughs> Why um, not? Uh, 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 Mira Forlan is originally from that part of the world, so uh, I, you know, I'd have the opportunity to act with Mira again. That'd be great. Hmm. Uh, what else have the, we got? The butcher is a heister in Payday Three. <laughs> I just love this idea of a little spin-off of Locke and the Butcher going. <laughs> heists little little kind of casino robbing things like where we... a, a worldwide crime so, spree so he's so he's the he's the you know the planner the uh, you know and and she's the fixer i, I just think that'd be brilliant puts the petty game to shame <laughs> <laughs> do we have to keep asking questions to be entered or do we just stay entered see that in itself is a question so there we go <laughs> have you seen any other live action? yes i saw the one with um Hellboy, the motorbike one. Um, oh, okay. Oh, um, the biker the track one. Yeah. yeah. The, I'm useless at people's names. There you go. And to answer your question, if you have to keep asking questions, uh, I guess that one falls under my jurisdiction. Anytime you send a message, that message gives you two minutes of eligibility in the little yeah. spinny wheel I have on my laptop that I'm running the giveaway from. So Steve Fuoco you know. says, have you listened to any of Hoxton's Christmas songs? I did uh, the Payday Canon of the Bells thing uh, last year for somebody. Uh, oh. Which is probably somewhere knocking around somewhere. <laughs> that was funny, singing, uh, you know, oh, Merry, Merry Payday. Have a very, very, very Merry Payday. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And I did, a, a few people started uh, asking about the uh, copy pasta thing and doing that. So I did a couple of versions <laughs> of that. Um, I, I did promise to do a sort of a, a, a British version of it for somebody. And I never have. And um, if whoever you are is listening, remind me. Send, it, send the message to me again. I'll see if I get around to it. I want to portray a Serbian. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so would i be in a heist with you is what you're really asking jack williams 96 yeah why not as long as they pay me there you <laughs> go. <laughs> well isn't that what uh you know i'm not going on this heist unless i get my fair share 
What if you become the only person never to be a heister in Payday? Ooh. Uh, but I'm not a heister. Quite sure I get that question. What if I became a heist? I've forgotten the question already. The first person ever to not be a heister. But surely there are plenty of contractors who haven't been heisters. I don't believe Vlad's been a heister. I'd be very surprised if the hotel from John Wick as an entity <laughs> itself has been a heister. Well, the butcher, hasn't been a, the the butcher wasn't a heister, was she? No, I think. no. So, Christmas 2, lock edition. <laughs> I'd buy it. Do holidays get sequels? Yes, Ian. <laughs> 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 What are you doing? I don't know. What are you doing in the quiet of your darkened room? <laughs> <sighs> loads of money in Locke's voice. I've got loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of things. You you know, once you've you've got a, you know, a voice like that that people recognise, you start doing pastiches of other things i i haven't done i don't know if i should say this or not but i, I have got in my head a well-known song that i'm kind of writing alternative lyrics to that Locke will sing oh uh, uh but don't ask me when because <laughs> it's like a million miles from being anything like ready but i'm hopeful it'll be pretty good i got the idea when we were filming for the end scenes uh, and and I have to do something with it. And uh, I have the lyrics of the original song, and I have a few lines, but you know it's a long way between that and and getting it done. But uh, but there's something there's something brewing. Hmm. There you go, the I'm creative pretty process. Pretty sure Bane was a heister. Yeah, what well, I imagine he was. Oh yes. What if every contractor, including the hotel, becomes a heister, but you? <laughs> That would just okay. be unfortunate. <laughs> so, so everyone else gets to be a heister and I don't. How would I feel? Well, you'd be in charge of crime net at that point. Well, right, that's right. I'll press the fucking <laughs> button and close it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you all fucked off. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Does that answer? I don't know. Maybe that answers the question. You know what? You know, yeah, if, if, if should lot ever, you know, you've got to remember this is this is my career. This is what I do for a living. So. Um, if I had the opportunity to be Locke as a heister and Starbreeze wanted me to do that, there would be, you know, a, 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 an exchange of skill for money, and that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you guys, you uh, this community, the payday community, someone said, has it changed my life? Absolutely, the community has changed my life. Because I go on Twitter almost every day messing with it and responding to people who've made comments and stuff like that. So, of course, it's affected my life. It's good fun. If you guys were the director, what would you do? There you go. That's one for you. Uh, the director of, of what? Payday 3. Of Payday? <clears throat> if I was the director of Payday 3... You'd sack everyone else and have Locke as everything in the game. Yes! <laughs> Even yeah. all the heisters, they would, Locke would suddenly have, uh, he would be one of quads, there would be four locks. <laughs> Just in different, in different colored fatigues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone did a meme with, like, pink fatigues. <laughs> that would be the girl. Lockette. <laughs> Lockina. <clears throat> There'd have one to be is a just... Serbian lock, wouldn't there, apparently? One is the just Jack rebellious. There's just rebellious Locke who wears the beret backwards. Yeah, or shaved his mustache off. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, hey, Ian, Almir never messaged me about paid. Yeah, and? <laughs> <laughs> Killer Cobra, I don't know what you expect me to do about that. I don't have a private line into Almir. I just made a suggestion that you should message him. Which you did, so well done. <laughs> I'm sure if it was something that you he did wanted it. to do something with, he would have come back to you. There, this guy, Killer Cobra, what, I don't know what his real name is, but he sent me pictures of um, heist maps that he'd made on Minecraft. Very oh, cool. You know, very good. And he said, what should I do with them? And I said, well, tell Almir. <laughs> and share your creations with the Payday community on, on Reddit or something. Let people yeah, enjoy you your go. work. Yeah, do that. Yeah. 
I'd love to see it, honestly. So. Yeah, Payday 3 Lock and Load. Well, we had Lock and Load already for the Alaska thing, didn't we? That was the event. It'd have to be Lockdown. I quite like Lockdown. It'd be a prison heist, wouldn't it? Lockdown. Will <laughs> Lock be in John Wick 3, please? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'd, I'd love off. to see you just show up. Or just show up. Yeah. <laughs> well, of course, as a voice actor, you don't show up, do you? Because it's a remote thing. Yeah. Well, so... it's weird because the Payday and the John Wick are so like tied together at this point, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. Well, hey, what if we'd have been on the beach and Keanu Reeves had turned up? <laughs> oh my God! Just, I'd like, have been hiding behind two rocks. Under the beach. <laughs> it's like whoa. Yeah, with his pencil. <laughs> <laughs> We need to work something out, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, there was a tumbleweed for that joke, wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, we've gone through one of each, so let's go for the big one for this next giveaway. And chat's going to explode. Yeah. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, here right. we go. Uh-oh. Don't I'm worry waiting. about the big... Don't worry about the big fancy text. Go go send your own text questions and we'll, and we'll get there. Oh my oh, there, God. It is. there there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it. Oh, 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 Immediately the messages. Yeah, these aren't questions though. You need to ask a question. <laughs> yeah, send us some questions, guys. Oh, and then someone says, oh, I already got one of those. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> That the alien one about five hundred bucks or something. Okay, there's <laughs> that, is that one. There, there's a question. Out of all playable characters, who is your favorite? Me. Um. Uh, um. Hmm. You see, Damien's very big, <laughs> so if I didn't say change, he'd probably beat me up. <laughs> um. Uh, I I can kind of do Hoxton's voice a bit, as you heard earlier. So I, I'm kind of drawn to Hoxton. Because he's British. Mm. Um, Eric's a really nice guy too. So uh, Dallas as well. So any of them really. Mm. <coughs> Someone says, "How's life been?" <laughs> um, <laughs> great. Life's been great to me. There you I'm go. still living. Every <laughs> every day above ground <laughs> is a good day. How has being a voice actor to help you grow as a person? I, I, as a person, I've become more childlike, which is a really good thing. <laughs> no, seriously, we we all take life really, really seriously. And in a previous existence, you know, I was I worked for a very serious organisation dealing with very serious people um, mm. and their money. You know, which is kind of a bit odd, given this character. But um, <laughs> uh, and. It, it, you know, it can be, that can be get, become quite stressful. And now I get, to, as I said earlier, I get to wave my arms around and swear for a living. And <laughs> I, I, you know, uh, at least when I'm doing lock. Uh, so uh, life's good. What's your yes. favourite fruit? <laughs> 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 Just all these questions. Um, three cherries. Only in three. <laughs> No, if it's two, we can't have it. Because if it's three cherries, you win. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I don't know. Fair what is your favorite cro <laughs> no. What is your favorite crossover pack from Payday 2? Favorite movie from a crossover pack? Um, oh, Reservoir Dogs, probably. Great movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, were... Point Break. Oh, I've got to say Point Break. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you met Ulf Anderson? Wasn't he in ABBA? <laughs> no all these people are saying have i met these people who live in sweden um no i haven't met any of them um i've met some people from from starbreeze who came to on location when we were filming so i've met um uh one three four five i've got to meet Bo, who owns the whole thing <laughs> the he's a good boss. guy the big boss, yeah. That's not a single fruit. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Um, uh, pineapple. There's a question here that's just, what's your favorite? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's 
dream car, Aston Martin. Favorite shoe size, mine. <laughs> Uh, uh, what other character would you wish you had a one-on-one -on -one with? <laughs> oh. Well, it kind of depends on the circumstances. Yeah, one v one could yeah. mean a whole lot of things. If I was, if I was twenty-five and it was dark, you know, the answer might be different. <laughs> I'm not married. <laughs> R.I.P. the aliens. First, okay, first, first, um video game that I ever played uh, was um, probably Pong. <laughs> you know, the, the table tennis thing? Oh, yeah. Remember yeah. that? Uh, we actually had one of those machines with the two buttons, with the two, you know, that was it. It was just two knobs that you twiddled. Huh. Um, but aliens made me think of Space Invaders. Um, <laughs> I wasted an enormous amount of money on Space Invader machines when you had to feed money into the machines. When I was at university. And pinball machines. God, I wasted a lot of money on pinball machines. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a whole dollar for that. Oh, what, for the, the alien Okay. No. <laughs> My wife just texted me and says, how did your lock session go? <laughs> <laughs> what shall I write back here? Question for the community. What shall I write back to my wife? Oh, that's a that's dangerous game you're study. playing. <laughs> What's this about twiddling knobs? Yeah. Uh -huh. What's your favorite <laughs> video game? What is your favorite type of blue doctor gloves? Well, the ones that fit? I don't know. <laughs> the red ones. I do have a pair. I have a pair of the pull-on gloves. Uh, can we get a mega lock mask? Is that what you want me to tell my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fun fact, Pong was not the first tennis video game. Oh, well, there you go. I, it was just the first game I played. Was only one rare code. People are complaining. <laughs> <laughs> I get Alienware code mask thing, and, and someone complains. Um, I'm just going to say still have, stills, still having fun hey. being rude <laughs> to the pay day <laughs> community <laughs> send okay there you go that's why i wrote <laughs> uh foolish decision oh you want me to yeah. say that to my wife that was a foolish decision <laughs> <laughs> not wise <laughs> If any of you were married, telling your wife that that was a foolish decision is not a wise thing. <laughs> what mask do I have? Um, most of them. You know, the little, I've got the not I've got like the plastic masks, and I've got one which sits, stands in my studio, which Eric and Georgia signed. Oh, nice! Uh, so I've got that. They sent that to me. That was uh, like very early on uh, with Locke. <laughs> They sent me a mask to say thank you. Um, mm. And then uh, I did something where I was giving masks away. Uh, I went to a local convention. They sent me some masks to give away. So I've got, like, Clover, Wolf, um, uh, Sydney, uh, Hoxton, uh, Chains, all those. Probably got all of those. Mm. And I have a Dozer bobblehead. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's about it, really. <laughs> oh, they gave me a code for the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> Last of the big spenders. Um, are you aware there's a payday version of Space Invaders? Uh, no. I'm not aware there's a payday version of Space Invaders, but I'm sure the internet would tell me if I looked at that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's adorable. You go into Joy's little safe house room, and it's just there, and you can, yeah. you can play it. Yeah, um, yeah. Oh, okay. I win the game. There's a, there's a com okay. I'm with you. That implies me playing the game, which is already established. I'm not very good at. <laughs> yeah, the whole locked it down, all of that. I remember early on with the Twitter uh, feed that we did a lot of um, uh, lock pun, pun, lock puns. You know, padlocked and locked down, and mm. you know, lock and load and all of that. That was quite fun. And then I did one, this is another good one for everybody, is, you know, Locke's favourite songs. So it can either be a song that might have a, 
a line or a title, or you can change a couple of words in the title of the song to make it fit. Which, would be fun, which is just get people's creative. Uh, we need a lock <laughs> bobblehead. We absolutely need a lock bobblehead. Yes. Yeah. Did you know they're doing a on? I think it's on the Steam community. There's a thread which says uh, new merchandise. What would you want? No. Oh, yep. So if there's anything people want, they need to go on there and tell Starbreeze what they want. And then you know, if enough people say they want, I don't know, Locke's face on a mug or something, then then you might get a lock mug. You know, who knows? I want I want a shirt that just says uh, for sure, and for it's sure. just it's just Locke's head on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the scary thing, of course, if they start if they used the the CGI version of my face that that we've now got, mm. and then that's on a t-shirt somewhere and then i walk into somewhere like hot topic and my face is on a t-shirt <laughs> that would be both very fulfilling but also a bit scary can we get payday funko pops why are you asking us i actually would be totally down for that yeah i'd buy one i'd buy a lock t-shirt well i'd kind of expect them to send me one probably but <laughs> Uh, full lock fatigues in the merch shop. Yeah, that'd be a good thing. Go tell people. You got to. If you, people don't tell Starbreeze what they want, Starbreeze won't make it. You know, they got to make. They want. They really do want to give the community what the community wants. That is, within their gift, of course. You know, I mean, you know, I want free everything is not going to happen because they've got a business to run. Um, you know, I want completely overkill pack. Not going to happen. You know? Stop uh, asking, please. <laughs> Amazing the number of people who say, can I have one of those? Can you get me one of those? Uh, like, yeah. no. Limited edition means limited edition. I've had 18 you know. people ask me for it since we announced this podcast. <laughs> for the public... The, uh, the completely story. overkill. Completely overkill. Yeah. yeah. You know, whatever. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the publicity from your career, or does it get annoying? Um uh only when people ask me about whether i like the publicity or not then it gets <laughs> you know um voice acting is um a great way to have a little bit of public notoriety and still be anonymous on the street you know i, know, I can walk down the street you know where i live and nobody knows what i do for a living mm. they don't go oh look it's him from payday <laughs> you know, uh, except when my face is on a locked t-shirt and then in Hot Topic and then people go oh look it's him from that t-shirt <laughs> uh, except that he'd have a moustache and I don't normally wear a moustache so maybe I'd still get away with it who knows hmm. um, uh, uh, would I you know let's say oh oh, he would be a good thing here's a good thing how about a payday movie ooh, ooh. ooh that'd be good I'd be in that I'd and I get to go and walk it. the red carpet in LA or somewhere, Stockholm most likely, because <laughs> you you know you know yeah you, you work all your entire life to do something that's going to be in the movies, so you can go to a big premiere and be one of the guests, and it's the payday movie, and because Starbreeze is in Stockholm, they do the premiere in Stockholm in the middle of winter, <laughs> and three people turn up. <laughs> It's just this, just this big event, and there's only like three people there. It's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> I think uh, you know, uh, 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 movies need millions of people to go and see them to work. You know, um, I don't know. Not for me to say whether a payday movie would work or not. I, I, it, it it does lend itself to that kind of format. I think you know, you've got well-defined characters. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just watching the stream right now. They wanted a Christmas soundtrack. Someone says that was actually in the works for a while. Yeah, there was going to be a IMDb. payday movie. Yeah, yeah, there is yeah. there is an article or a, yeah. a listing on IMDb for it, but it just sort of like died. <laughs> Can I get Halloween I wouldn't music? Put it, no. uh, you know, I again, there's no NDA involved here. I don't know, but you know, an ambitious company. Mm hmm. You know, I and um, you. Someone said something about the way that Locke moves on screen. You know, it's 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 kind of a little bit uh, amusing. Um, but w one thing I I would say about Payday Three is, you know, they're not going to keep the same graphic engine, are they? No. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. it's going to be, it's going to be a cool thing. 
Oh, definitely. You know, it's going to take it up another level. And that will be... And talking about movies as well, um, video games are becoming very cinematic. You know, the, oh, definitely. The, 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 the amount of work I do in video games revolves a great deal around cutscenes. You know, which are the storytelling bit. You know, when you get into gameplay, you know, it's all about, you know, attach the rope to the pallet and, and go and kill those people in the corner to, you know, and you've got to go and find the gold chalice or whatever it is you've got to do. It's about informing the player. Mm-hmm. The cutscenes is largely where the story happens. And, and the games are really moving in that direction in a big way. Um, and, and I did, I, we, I did, I thought it was very, um, interesting for me that uh, uh, given how sophisticated CGI graphics have become Starbreeze chose to film their cutscenes at the end for the secret at the end for the end Mm. to make a real movie and you know so are they I, I think this has happened in the past I'm not saying it's not a new thing but you know is that a start of a trend Will more video games start having live action filming? I mean, there's a lot of um, what do they call it, where where they put all the bobbles on your head and move. Um, mo- oh, motion capture. Motion, motion capture. Yeah. There's a lot of that going on, and a lot of voice actors are getting into that. Mm-hmm. Um, so so there's a lot of that going on, and it's only a small step from there to to live action. That'd be interesting. Good. There are a few games that are all live action. Um, one we played on stream last year for Halloween. It was this horror game. I believe it was called The Bunker. Oh yeah. Oh that. yeah. Yeah, that's entirely just video clips, and you kind of just click would... on a thing which indicates which clip will play to create yeah. movement. I, w- I was that. third ghost from the left in that one. Oh, were you? Huh. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> But it's great that you thought it might be true. <laughs> I mean, I like to imagine you just, like, go around to a bunch of random projects and show up in them just to do it. See, I haven't played that game in, like, a year, so in the back of my head, I'm not thinking, which ghost was that? But were no. there ghosts in that? <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I have done, uh, gosh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, I recorded some audio for a horror game recently. Hmm. That's not out yet, but it'll come out on Steam. Um... Uh, I did like it was um, hmm little girl lost in a building huh and my daughter did some voice for it as well oh, and nice. she's going to be there's another game that's going to come out an indie developer a friend of mine is well he's become a friend because he hired me to do something but uh, I'll let everybody know when that comes out I've done uh, maybe six or eight characters for him and both of my daughters are also in it huh uh, and my youngest daughter who you heard saying tell them about minecraft that one <laughs> that daughter um she 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 did a small role for him and then his main lead actress lady um was not fulfilling what he needed her to do and he recast it and he cast her so she's the main character in the game so that will be very cool i'll tell everybody when that comes out cool and cool. then you can go and buy it from my indie developer friend hmm. and help him make more games. Am I a fan of horror movies? Yeah, kind of. I was very keen to see Hereditary. Hered- Her- Her- Heredity. Hereditary, when it came out. There was a big lot of buzz about it, and I watched it, and I was a bit let down. I don't know what everybody else thinks. Hmm. I've not seen that one yet. I haven't seen it either. No. It, it wasn't very... I didn't find it very scary, I guess. Hmm. Um... I did go and see the very original Alien in the cinema when it first came out, and nobody had ever seen the plastic monster coming out of the stomach at the time. Mm. You know, and, um, and that was quite... Sc- at the time, you know, nobody knew, and the whole audience went, Wah! You don't know to expect it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You are very yeah. responsive. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that conversation go? How does one enter the giveaway? Uh, one enters the giveaway by asking a question. Which Arcbound X you have now done? Congratulations! <laughs> you did it! <coughs> uh, uh, what else? D- 
did you ever see the IT remake? I'm imagining that IT means something apart from information it's, technology. Oh, it, the, the clown oh, it. one. Oh, it. yes, of yeah. course. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good talk. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch The Walking Death? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Ah, yes. <laughs> 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 I have a very good friend who's in The Walking Dead. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, shout out to Kevin Patrick Murphy. He was in, like, uh, six or eight episodes of, hmm. I don't know, uh, season, I don't know, four or five or something. But he's one of my acting coaches. He's a good guy. Nice. Uh, he's been in lots of things as well. He's in, been in Stranger Things. Oh, cool. Um, remember, there's a scene in season one where Eleven goes into a supermarket and steals some Eggos. Hmm. And she gets chased out by the supermarket manager. Yeah. That's Kevin. He's oh, the Ego guy? Chase, he got to chase Eleven out of the supermarket. Oh, that's awesome. That's real that cool. That is awesome, isn't it? And I shall see him on Monday. I'll tell him you said so. <laughs> what are we giving away now? Uh? Um, we're Four giving goes. away chains. We're giving chains away. Does he know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, later <laughs> they already have the goat they certainly do uh, let's see okay, I'm going to spin a roulette wheel of codes what is my favourite horror movie hmm <laughs> Eraserhead huh see no silence <laughs> Eraserhead what sorry I'm scrolling I through still, the codes I, What's I it? haven't seen that one Go look up Eraserhead. The first time I watched Eraserhead, again, it's it. You watch it now and it's a bit odd, but well, it was a bit odd then. But um, I, you know, movie making technology has moved on, so you see the you know the latex a bit more. Mm-hmm. But uh, when I first saw that, it's a very odd, disturbing movie. Oh, chat says oh, okay. it was directed by David Lee. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, that's him. <laughs> Can you give away a high five? There you go. There you go. Just for you, just for you. Yeah, give away a mask. Yeah, well, I think we will. Yeah, we'll do some more masks. Do you in a enjoy second. bad horror movies? Well, when I was in my teenage years uh, and live, still living at home, we had a little small portable black and white TV um, that I took up into my bedroom, and on a Friday night they would have a Hammer House of Horror double bill. Hmm. Uh, on Friday night, midnight Friday night, and I used to watch those. I love those. So bad horror. Those, those are bad horror movies. Um, I think they are, you know, classically bad if that's the mm. the right way to put it. But yeah. So in that sense, yes. Have you ever seen The Room? Oh. Uh, now, uh, so there's a movie called Room, uh, uh, which is might be different to The Room. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Yep. The Room is this movie that is a commonly commonly known as the worst movie ever made. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Not seen that one. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Can I give away I mean... a packet of Hot Pockets? Well, I suppose I could, but by the time they got to you, they might be a bit moldy. Assigned, assigned packet. Assigned by lock. <laughs> <laughs> Lock pockets. Uh, a lock pocket. <laughs> a lock pocket, yeah. Those old Christopher Lee Dracula movies. Yep, those are the ones. Hmm. Jason X. Oh, Do man, your daughters hard. like lock better than you? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Eva says yes. She likes lock better than I do. But... <laughs> yes, I've seen Jacob's Ladder. Incredible He's... horror movie. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> How would you like Locke to be incorporated into Payday 3? Um, from the beginning. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'd, I'd totally be okay with that. More Locke is never a bad thing. Uh, not for me, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta lock them pockets. Let, let, let's get this, you know, fair and square, right, for, for once and for all. You know, if Starbreeze uh, wants me... In payday three, I'm up for it. <laughs> you know, there you go. Do it. Of course I would. Of course I would. Favorite genre of movie? Um, yeah, kind of fantasy, sci-fi, 
mishmashy kind of things, probably. Hmm. My kids are all into the, you know, the Avengers has taken over that particular world now. You only ever get, you know, there aren't any fantasy movies that aren't DC or Marvel now, but mm -hmm. back in the day, you know, Princess Bride, brilliant movie. Oh, I love that movie so much. At the risk of being killed by chat, I still haven't seen that one. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Did you tell your wife the story about the two girls and the rock? <laughs> no. <laughs> but probably, yes. There are no secrets. Because I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> They'll never stop asking. You're right, they won't. <laughs> uh, you should give away. No, unfortunately, right. the Leprechaun reboot is no. So we've started something with you. Can you do an improv for a pager line if you were to be a heister? Ooh. Ooh. Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> no, there it is. The pager operator calls. What's wrong with the radio? No. no. Hang up on <laughs> Instant alarm. Mm. <laughs> alarm goes off. Reason Locke picked up the pager. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Your mission, Jim, should you choose to have accept it. <laughs> this pager will self destruct in three minutes. <laughs> Oh, Revy Lanth apparently is psychic. Did I miss a message? <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> the badger that bit your boot open. What? Mm, uh, uh, that relates to um, something about uh, uh, dangerous animals and uh, in the UK, what's the most dangerous animal in the UK? Mm. And I came up with badger. <laughs> <laughs> Which is probably not far from the truth because they are quite vicious. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure someone said that a badger bit their boot open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now just imagining getting attacked by a badger and it's like, oh, okay. I don't know you, what I'd do in that situation. <laughs> you would run away. Yeah, climb a tree. <laughs> Can badgers climb trees? No, actually? Freddie Mercury wouldn't work because he's just a small boy from a small family. Oh, my wife says send a shout out to Sandra Locke for working the late shift. <laughs> Well done, Sandra, for working the late shift. <laughs> there you go. That was a text, by the way, not on mm. the chat stream. That fucking badger is going to be the villain <laughs> of Payday 3. <laughs> the badger. Yeah, it's going to be a villain a villain contractor called the badger. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> the the, game the mask make The mask <laughs> makes itself, doesn't it, for a badger <laughs> with the black and white stripes. Yeah. <laughs> The game just starts, and it's just like, yep, the villain's a badger. We've gone <laughs> completely off the rails and given up. All right, <laughs> just go. <laughs> there we go. A poor boy from a poor family. Yes, the you're right. <laughs> I stand corrected, Hobbers Rocks. I'm clearly rubbish. <laughs> but he was a small boy from a small family. A small <laughs> Indi um, a Indian, Asian, Iranian family. I forget where he was from now. I forget. I watched the movie, and I can't remember. <laughs> How long is the Q and A gonna go on? Oh, I thought that was gonna be a Jesus. Are we not done yet? It's <laughs> fun. So, well, you know. uh, I'm, I'm turns out this... the dentist didn't actually die. Yeah. It was in fact a badger. <laughs> he used the Ark of the Washer transfers consciousness into a badger. We were we were joking about that the other day um, about Bane transferring his consciousness into the turtle that's in the safe house. <laughs> And it's just Bane's the King Turtle now. Oh dear, Jack Williams, would you portray a character in other video games other than Payday? 
I mean, ah. this is my living. I do this. Uh, so I am the Psyker in uh, Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Marta, which is one of only the three player characters. Uh, I've got two voices in Return of the Obra Dinn, which has been nominated for Indie Game of the Year this year. Nice. Uh, I've got, uh, what else? I am the voice of the Cravers and the Cravers faction leader in Endless Space 2. Um, I did several voices for a game linked to the Dunkirk movie. Hmm. Uh, God, I mean, and so it goes on. Um, I can't remember them all. What else have I done? Um, I'm the voice of Arthur, who is the lead character in a Escape the Room game called The Cavern. Uh, hmm. I am the Australian uh, mentor guy who tells you what to do in uh, Road Redemption. Oh, you're in Road uh, Redemption? Yeah, you know, the Australian says, Go get. Sorry, Australian. Go get the assassin! I, huh. Huh. <laughs> the assassin's only about four miles up the road. You've got to go and get those other people first, and then you can go and get the assassin. Meanwhile, I'm going to go and put some shrimps on the barbie. Is that all right? <laughs> I had no idea that was you. Yeah, that's me. Today I learned. They, that's a, I find this quite an amusing story, and I apologize if you don't, but... Um, uh, damn, son, return of the old Bradin. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> um, uh, so... For, for Road Redemption, I had auditioned with a sort of a Ray Winston, you know, gangster kind of a voice. You know, mm. go get a assassin, blokes, you know, go on, you know, kneecap him with a baseball bat, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and they decided they liked my performance, and we had a Skype interview. And during the course of it, those of you who know Road Redemption, it's a motorbike race game where you go through a sort of a desert landscape killing other people on other motorbikes but it's a sort of a Mad Max kind of feel to it so they, they asked me if I did an Australian accent I went nah not really mate <laughs> and they went oh right hang on a minute and you heard the sound of typing like that and up on my on the Skype chat pops up some lines from the game uh, and they said read those in your Australian accent so I read them you know cold live to them in my Australian accent. Go get the assassin, mate, and all of that. So at the end of it, they decided they wanted me to do the thing in the Australian accent. And I said, well, you do realize that anyone, anyone from Australia will know that I'm not Australian. You do know that. Much in the same way that South Africans know that I'm not South African. Um, uh, and they said they didn't really mind so much because Australia wasn't a big market for them. <laughs> Which was the bit I found quite amusing. Um, and is, who's, who's seen... The YouTube video that must have come out not long after I started doing Lock, which is a South African guy having a right old rant about how bad my South African accent is. Who's seen that? Who's seen that? I did not it's, know that existed. It, oh, you must go and look for it. It's brilliant. Well, I'm going it's on a brilliant. quest when the stream is over. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I sit here going, "Yep, yeah, great. You might have a better South African accent than me, but they hired me." <laughs> <laughs> I win! I win! I've got the three cherries. <laughs> it all ties back together. You've got to try it all back together eventually. Oh, look, it's eight o'clock. Oh. All right. <laughs> so, so Do I there? play Payday 2? We've done this. Push mask on, runs into bank, dies. That's my extent of Payday, really. Would you do another character in a heist, a different heister in lock? Yeah. Yeah, I'd be a cat. I'd be Hoxton. No, I wouldn't. Uh, Pete Gold's great. That'd be unfair. I could be a Scottish character. I could do that. There you go. Go and I, get the money. I think I found the character, or the, uh, sorry, the video of the rant. <laughs> um. Okay, well, put it up on the stream so other people, I think it's hilarious. I think it's brilliant. Oh, yeah. Well right. done him, whoever he is. Uh, it's right here and I'll grab it. Uh, and a few people think that Locke's accent is a bit Russian. Give me a sec. But to be Russian, you see, you start rolling your R's more. You put your ro you roll, you become Russian. Here, I think it's... Come on. Sorry, my computer's being really slow. <laughs> I think it's this one. <laughs> oh my god, Have I had any voice time. acting experiences I didn't really enjoy? Um... 
Okay, so here's the thing with voice acting. You for for many things, not for video games so much, but for many things, you have to edit and post produce the the audio yourself. I don't think I've done a performance, a recording that I didn't like, but the editing can get a bit tedious. Mm. So for long for long projects now, um, I try and make sure that uh, I build into the budget. Uh, the ability to hire someone else to do the editing <laughs> <laughs> so that I can do more performing, which is much more fun. Mm. Ian secretly voices Clover. Isn't she yeah. Irish? Isn't yep. Clover Irish, though? Yeah. So I could be Irish if you'd want me to. <laughs> He's turning into Vlad. No, Vlad. Vlad's in his bakery. And he's a little bit yeah, Scottish uh, at the moment. Arnold Schwarzenegger! Yeah! <laughs> Ian doesn't like being locked. Oh, yeah, I do, really. There's the video playing for the stream. Yo. Oh, is this the one where, yeah. where he's ranting at my. Uh, yeah, yeah. I pay good money to see me as the Terminator. Okay. Thank you. And secondly. Not a voice pack know. where all the voice line in the game is Oof. just locked. Yeah, we talked about that, didn't we? We have all four heisters as locked. <laughs> Someone will do a mod of that now. I, can't get over this moment. I saw somebody earlier saying instead of customizable masks, they'd all have customizable fatigues. Yeah. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah, Crimson mm -hmm. Nocturne. Things about adding a line uh, to any part of Payday, I, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'd add, I, I, and maybe maybe if I ever get the chance, we'll try and get it in. But where's my fucking drink? I think it just works so well. Yeah, I'd like that in the game somewhere, other than in the movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll be back, you fucking gags! I'll knock your, clap your, yeah, and clap your fucking lights out. That's another good. I would like that <laughs> in the game as well. Yeah, if for sure wasn't his his thing. Clop your fucking lights out ought to be. <laughs> you don't hear my Scottish accent. Here you go now. Um, <laughs> I, I, I did uh, I did a this was pre-alpha so this is very early in the game uh, for a game called Hades 9 and I did a captain of a spaceship in a Scottish oh. accent for them and to this day I'm enormously proud of of the audio that I produced for that, it just worked wonderfully well, and the guys that then put it, in, you know, put it into the game, and that really, really good. Um, here, I will, I will find it while we're on, and I'll send you a link to it. You can put it up for people to go and see because I really like it. I'm very proud of it. Cool. Uh, Got to find it though. Uh, any other questions? Uh, um, are you learning any Afrikaans because of your role? No, I lived in Holland for almost 10 years. So a lot of that Afrikaans slang is kind of pidgin Dutch, really. Mm. So a lot of it is very familiar, which kind of helps. Because when they write the... They, <laughs> Joe goes and finds these... these um, slang words and puts them in the script... Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know what's going on here. Join call. Join. Hang on. Uh, oh, is that chat? Sorry, you can hear me kind of talking <laughs> through what I'm doing. John wants to connect with you. Uh, I do. We're, <laughs> weren't we already connected? <laughs> <laughs> Paste. Send. Okay, so I've sent you the link on the Skype chat. Aha! Uh -huh. the yeah, Do you see it? Yeah, I got it. I, I, I think this is really good work. And I know I'm biased because it's me, but... <laughs> you know. Uh, so, uh, what else? What are we, we, are, we are a bit after eight, so my wife will be getting home soon. All right. Um, so, if you want, we can play Lock's the... What is Locke's favorite drink? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Roy Boss D, of course. <laughs> Afrikaans, so yeah, that whole thing. So I know quite a lot of the, the you know, those, uh, you know, lekker, all that kind of thing. Mm. 
Is chain still being given away? <laughs> <laughs> Groovy, would you do the voice in fighting games? Yeah, I'd do the voice. Yeah, anybody hires me to do anything, I'll do it. <laughs> Within moral, re you know. Um, does voice acting change the way my actual voice sounds? I, I hope not, because I mean, this, you know, my British voice, if you like, is is what I voice most things in. And if I start, if my accent sort of drifted somewhere else, that might affect other things. Hmm. Um, but I, I live in America, so um, as you know, uh, so it is quite, and I guess I haven't lost my British accent. And I was talking to another British voice actor a couple of weeks ago. I went around to his house for coffee. He lives like 60 miles away. And um, my darling. Yeah. We both said the same thing. We've not I lost our British accents, not but both myself. of us find ourselves using American terms for things. Hmm. So I now say you trash really instead of rubbish. Kind. Huh. <laughs> Go and put that in the trash. You know, and what pants will I wear today? That kind of thing. I do find myself using some um, American terms, which... Uh, and I have to be careful, there are some words like schedule and schedule, Mm -hmm. that, that we say differently in Britain or America, and sometimes I'm not quite sure. I've forgotten which one's which. It is your home now. Mm -hmm. Lock for smash. Lock for smash brothers. Yeah, yeah. I'd it. be down for that. I Dude, failed. yes. Your mother. <laughs> As I failed so many others when our world's shattered. John Somebody call Nintendo. <laughs> yes, yeah. Somebody just, you know, oi, Nintendo, get your act together. <laughs> <laughs> some, some bloke. Some bloke on a community wants you wants Ian in uh, Smash Brothers. You'll do that, <laughs> won't you? <laughs> what is your favourite hand? My right hand. <laughs> 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 I haven't got a lot of toys. Actually, I like them both. And that you will have it in your too. I wouldn't want to lose either of them. <laughs> Locke is the announcer for Smash. What is the going rate for an Ian Russell voice actor? Well, for the whole thing. <laughs> Quite expensive. Quite expensive. Uh, oh, my, yeah. My Skype, my iPad just said I've got low battery as well. I'm ah. British and I find myself using American terms all the time. It's just something that happens in general. I often catch myself saying elevator instead of lift, for example. Mm. Me too. <laughs> wow, this is really great, Ian. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Zelda. <laughs> oh yeah, we've just been playing the Hades audio as well with it. So, mm -hmm. um, so if your iPad's dead and we're at that time, yeah, of the night... and, and as yes, and she who who really should be greeted at the front door. With, you know, <laughs> yep. Uh, well done for taking on the night shift. I, I should be done and go and, and take care. Already. Of that, really. <clears throat> uh, so listen, hey guys, thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. It was a ton of fun. Thank you so much. And, uh, you know, whenever anything exciting happens, you know, if you start streaming Warhammer 40k or something, <laughs> you know, I'll do it again. Noted. All right. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Listen, thanks, guys. Thanks for all the comments, everybody out there in comment land. Uh, uh, it'll be fun. We'll do this again. Yep. Definitely. Right. And right. to you guys in chat, thank you so much for watching. This can be uploaded on our YouTube tomorrow publicly. We'll tweet a link out for that. Our Rusty Chain's Twitter is below. So feel free to check that out. Thank you guys so much for listening, watching, and we will see you next week for the Rusty Chains four year celebration actually. So Did you did you give everything away? Uh <coughs> a few of each, yeah. And okay. you know, we'll run one more alienware. Do an cause... alien before we go. <laughs> there you oh, go. Oh sorry, that came across quite slightly wrong, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I never got the completely over. No, because there aren't any. <laughs> They're gone. Archibald uh, X. Gone. Congratulations. Yeah, Damien's auditioning for a big role, so he says yeah. sorry. He wants to be here, but best of luck to him with that part. So, <laughs> yeah. Aliens again? Oh, oh. Really? No. Listen, I'm gonna go, guys. All right. Do Thank you. you. Take care. While I'm gone. Thanks very much. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Chat, you can't see me, but I'm sitting there uh, 
waving at the top right of my webcam thinking it's for Ian. Uh, how's it feel knowing the rest of chains is going to be four years old? <coughs> uh, that in itself is a hell of a ride for us. But I wouldn't trade it for anything, for sure. Um, if I dabbed her in the code? No, if you dab, you're disqualified instantly. <laughs> um, so we are going to wrap up the stream there. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening. It's been really cool having all these new, I guess, usernames in chat. Where's your fucking code? <coughs> um, Seth Kerr, our wonderful, wonderful chat mod, is going to be reaching out. Um, to all our winners this evening, so he's gonna get you settled. Will you reschedule Damien, or just forget about it? We'll see what we can do. We we'll can't see what we can anything do. Because he's extremely he's, busy. Yeah, but... he's a busy guy. Like we didn't know until like he didn't know we didn't know until today that he wasn't gonna be able to make it. It was <clears throat> sorry. It was a miscommunication so, sort of thing. It so wasn't even that. We'll, it was we'll just. It wasn't even miscommunication. It was just something popped up. We dealt mm -hmm. with it as best we can, but yeah. um, we will do our best to get him on here and continue to do lovely, lovely content for you guys. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to make another podcast with only Damien? If we can work out we'll, time with we'll him, we'll try. We'll we'll figure out what we can do and we'll let you keep you guys we'll, updated in our discord or on yeah Twitter. if you guys do exclamation mark discord you can join our server um but we'll do our best to get that but again no promises because he's a busy guy mm -hmm. <coughs> so uh unless you have anything else to say chuck we never introduced ourselves at the start of the stream shit hi i'm john that's chucky hi <laughs> a little bit late like what two some odd hours late anyway two and a half. <laughs> where do you announce podcast discord um we announce all our stuff in discord and our steam group all of which is below mm -hmm. how are you two uh we're good thanks oh well now we need Pretty to great. redo the whole stream shit well damn it <laughs> ian come back <laughs> ah! But, uh, yeah, that was a ton of fun. We're thrilled to have gotten all you guys in here. And uh, we're definitely going to be doing more streams in the future. So we will see definitely. you next time. Until that next time, don't forget to spread that happy and stay rusty. We'll catch you guys later.